Welcome to Classic Valley Investors. My name is Mariusz Skonieczny. Let's do a quick update on Mitchum Industries. I know some of you asked me um, about Mitchum Industries. Uh, there isn't really much to update uh, at this point. It's just kind of we have to wait and see. And about two weeks ago, we got uh, a big insider buy from a new guy, uh, Dennis, uh, COO. He bought about $100,000 worth of shares. And then immediately after that, we got a, a, a very nice press release that uh, Mitchum's client is getting involved uh, together with a Euro major European defense contractor. They are going to enter a SAS market, which will go head to head with uh, Kraken. Uh, so that was surprising to me because I always thought of Klein as the SSS play. And now they're entering SAS with with a you know, big partner. Uh, so that's a game changer. It, absolutely a game changer. I know a lot more about what it means. And now I have even a better idea who the European uh, defense contractor is. But, you know, I can't say it who it is. I, I'm not going to talk about that uh, for um, for competitive reasons. And, uh, you know, I don't want people to know who it is. Uh, and the company doesn't want it to who it is. And, you know, I did you know, I don't know 100%, but I have a pretty good idea. And I didn't get this from the company. Actually, because I'm making these videos, it's getting more difficult for me to get information from all kinds of sources because they know I'm making these videos. So, um, so uh, you know, there's a lot more that I know about what's going on that I am not willing to say. Uh, but all I can say that it's pretty good. And I am f feeling pretty comfortable uh, with holding my shares even though they're volatile and as you know after the press release came out and uh, the the insider bought shares uh, the stock price goes from like 160 to almost 280 and now it's going back down again some people are asking what's going on well welcome to the world of micro cap investing uh, that's what happens you know the press release comes out people get excited all at the same time the stock is Ill illiquid the stock price goes down uh, two days later, they forget about the press release. Then they start worrying about the balance sheet. Oh, maybe the contract will not come. Blah, 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 blah. And, and then the stock sells off. Uh, so now I'm looking at it. Uh, can it go uh, below $2 again? Yeah, anything can happen. I mean, I, I told you before, I have no idea what the lunatics are going to do from one day to the next. All I can tell is that um, uh, Klein is the future of Mitchum. Good things are happening. Uh, uh, insider COO bought uh, almost $100,000 worth of uh, stock. So this tells me something good is happening uh, within the company to give him confidence to do that. He didn't have to do that. He's just like a human being, uh, just like all of us, has to make money uh, by working. And by him putting $100,000 on the line, you know, is enough for me. Uh, and it gives me even more conviction than what I had before. But now what we have to do is really wait, wait for other things to develop. Uh, what we need for the stock to go higher, we need some dollar signs attached to some of these press releases. Because right now we know that there's a lot of products in the pipeline. Uh, hopefully there will be more press releases, more announcements, but that's all good. But the market wants to see what it means, what it means to the bottom line, what it means to the revenues and hopefully we can get some clarity on this um, in the coming months. But in the meantime, we just have to sit on our ass and wait.